Hi guys, I'm Katie Wade and this is Animalist News. We've been hearing a ton about Ebola this and Ebola that in the news lately, but where did it all start? First off, let's cover the basics. Ebola is a virus that causes fever, internal bleeding, vomiting, and in most cases, death. It's said that anywhere from 60 to 90% of humans who contract Ebola will die. But this virus has been around since the 70s, so why are we worrying about it now? In the past, isolated incidents have killed maybe a dozen or so people, but this most recent breakout has killed nearly 700 humans and infected 1,000 others. The virus is transmitted through direct contact with blood, secretions, or bodily fluids of an infected animal. But not all animals have become carriers of Ebola. Chimps, gorillas, antelope, and porcupines are among the few animals who can spread the virus so far. But you're probably saying, but Katie, I don't ever touch antelopes or gorillas. You might not, but the communities in Africa who hunt and eat these animals do, a lot. These exotic meals aren't only eaten in Africa either. According to the Daily Mail, about 4,000 metric tons of this meat is smuggled into the UK and disguised as beef each year. All this meat can potentially be infected with Ebola, and that's terrifying. So let's jump back to my initial question, where did Ebola originally come from? Most scientists believe it spawns from fruit bats. That's no surprise considering they're known to carry over 60 viruses which humans can catch. Whether it's due to ignorance or apathy, some communities are continuing to eat bats despite the risk of catching Ebola. What remains unclear, however, is why the Ebola virus is just now affecting people even though families have been eating exotic meat for years without infection. What's the sickest you've ever been? Be sure to let me know in the comments below and please be sure to check out these other videos right here and subscribe right here. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.